the side of your head, like right here. Yeah. Thank you. My, my mom looks really cute today. Period. Only yes, really cute today, huh? I didn't You're say so cute rude. today, I'll tell but you, I wait mean, wait till I get these teeth together. Wait till you know all of that gets straight, and then what? What? And then what, what? all the people gonna be coming at you the out of people. nowhere. People gonna be coming out of nowhere. You people. Gonna be, they gonna be like, um, I'm sorry, I was so busy, I haven't contacted you yes. in a while. But um, can we meet for drinks? Who are you? And you're gonna be like, and who? What are you doing? What? What's, are we going in the right direction? Oh, Let's make sure oh, we're doing that. I don't know. Look, oh, we thought we, we look like we're going in the right direction. Set up. And if you, you and if you approach your your girl like that before, she has low standards mm. because that was creepy. That's why we going. Out. He feeling himself a little too. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Nigga, you can't do that, and you can't not, not walk away. Fucking not turn, and I'm just not gonna be just clearly just skipped over, no, right? Okay, let's go. So uh, the man, the man that was turning, he was. <laughs> but I did this too when I turned. I like turned my whole about. neck. Mm -hmm. He turned with his whole neck, but he was driving like this. Like, Let's get closer to the window. Mm -mm. But anyway, your turns wasn't so bad. What I didn't really? understand is that when you are, when you're driving with cars and they're both going the same way, you don't stare, stay close to this line. You go to the right. So that means I'll be more over here mm -hmm. than over there. So now I got that space. Mm -hmm. Look, she ain't paying attention. She's staring at us. Yeah, making sure that I don't hit her. Mm -hmm, but she's doing all that, she get hit from the back. Right, or the front too. Uh -huh. <laughs> Both ways. Yes. No. No. <laughs> this lady had, um, this lady had, um, Did I bring my car? She had um, not colon cancer, because women don't call it colon cancer. They call it rectal. No, I forgot what she called it, but she called, her name is Poo Poo something, because she got cancer, like, the area where she where she poop out mm -hmm. she has cancer in and on her ass uh huh mm -hmm. and she na no. renamed her name to poo poo mm -hmm. something on instagram i need to know she where the, the fuck was going reporter. on in the past and i better to have... jump on the um freeway mm -hmm. um which are we going to cheesecake first mm -hmm. or are we going to get tattoos i don't, I don't think i'm going to have to go to cheesecake if we go to cheesecake that means we... are you going to bed after i don't want to I want to make this. Are you going to upload this? Ma'am, I have six videos to upload. I'm about to give me oh, another God. STD. I'm about to give me STD. <laughs> oh, wait, you really need to upload that now. You want to talk about something? No, I'm about to give you. Oh, my you. God. You had one before. That no, I'm a virgin. Talk. You what? I'm a virgin. That don't mean shit. Yes, it does. Virgins catch that shit. You can I don't do it. nothing with my mouth. Hey, I ain't talking about your mouth. Just touch it skin to skin. I'm going to give me another SD card because... Uh, this one filling up of unedited videos. I might as well just start over and get another one. I'll start over on this one. I do need another SD card because when we travel again, I want that SD yeah, card to be full of travel stuff. You need stuff. to get that word together because SD. It's, SD. Yeah, you saw, some of your mom want to just SD. throw a T in that mother. <laughs> HIV. Mm, no, don't say that. That's horrible. You know. You want to go there first? We could just go there first if you want to knock it out. And then. Well, go to Cheesecake Factory first. We can. Are you starving? Mm hmm Who wants to be starving and getting a tattoo or a piercing? Mm-hmm. Not me. So, let's okay. do that first. Which way? Keep going straight. Um, let me get the directions. Girl, it's going to be like, turn around because you is going the wrong way. No, it's not. Watch. I know it's the wrong I'm way. Say keep straight. And then turn and anyway, go back to the show. Like I'll 25 minutes. It's giving very much... Why oh, you don't want me to take a show? Classy. Oh, yeah, you can show me. It's... Girl, clearly, let me twip. Let no. Me, let me see. You're not going to do it Oh, right. you'll see this so low. Hey, y'all. Y'all see her thighs. No, let me see it. The lighting may not be right. Lord, don't be a perfectionist. Okay. It's okay. Now, just hold that right there. Perfect. Okay, so this top and this poofy arms. And I can't see the shorts, but show them the shorts real quick. Show them the shorts. Show them the shorts. Shorts. So cute. They are. Where did you get those shorts from? 
I actually got these shorts from Zara, and I actually need to go to Zara oh again. God, you gotta eat I love you go Zara. Zara. Zara, you these pants are line. so. Let me tell y'all. Well, the line forever. Just oh outside. my god, yes, just the line. The line. Actually, the line wasn't bad because I went in the morning. Um, this that time, but these pants cinch your waist like so good. And normally Zara has like um like I don't know if they are catered to to bigger sizes but their clothes kind of fit big and i don't like that so the thing about it is they was having like an end of the season type of thing Sale. and yeah and these are actually um an extra seven. small oh okay and that's why they fit so good but and my, my waist that i have on is my, extra small can you believe that that's no i garage. can't those look like a garage and you know so that, that actually they run big yes and those actually look like they are like a medium and they make it so bad they're petite small oh my god that's there yes no they're petite small you know i am tall yeah like let's look at her pants like how they see. fit like this those so, pants like let I'm me tell you them. To say look at how much like I'm not space I, mean, I have in them. Like, but well, yeah, look made at how much like space this, this, they have in them. A, yeah, because in the you know back in those days, like clothes would be like fitting smaller. Right. So you would have to buy like a bigger size to fit you. So I would normally have to wear. Boy, you better look over here with your neck. <laughs> Anyways, so normally, <laughs> that's what I tell you, these new, these, these drivers literally just right, be looking like straight ahead, they don't be looking at no like, one, two, one, two, one, two, but anyways, like I'm saying, so normally the fashion industry, they would make like smaller sizes, you would have to wear like a bigger size, but now it's like the smalls fit like mediums, and the mediums fit like larges. <laughs> And the largest It's like they like don't want to fuck with your uh, feelings no more. They don't, they want to make sure you don't feel sad and depressed or some shit. I don't know. Make sure these people see these back lights. He's actually supposed that, to make a left boy. here. But oh, it says good. at this place mm -hmm. right here you can't make a left. Oh, it say make a left? You can you can. Yes, you can. You can make a left. Oh. That's a protected left. And I'm behind the damn student driver who has... Somebody in the car looks so sweet. But anyways, it's giving very much classy. I love this. And I, I like Zara. I actually was going to go to Zara before this because I feel like every time I go someplace, every time I go on a trip or travel, I always buy clothes for like that trip. And I buy like a bunch of clothes. And then after that trip, I never I need those no clothes. That. Because, yeah, that's what I was saying. Um, Like I was saying, so... What was I saying? See what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. Make me remember. About what? About what I was talking about. What was you talking about? I was talking about the, oh, we was talking about the clothes. Mine there. Mm. And it's like, they have really cute spring clothes. So I was gonna, Woo! Oh, I almost <laughs> lost my life. Girl, boo. She's a terrible driver. That's not true. You lie a lot. I don't. I okay. always keep it real. No, that's we not. We keep it real. One hundred. Don't say we. Here, I keep it real. I like them. No, I don't. No, you don't. Them look like some jail houses. Mm -hmm. Anyways, y'all, I'm trying to focus on getting like clearer skin, and I think it's, I think it's working. Like whatever I'm doing, but I just need to stay away from um like fried foods and like um fried foods Process. chocolate processed foods um like a lot of like uh sugar mm. and a lot of dairy mm. so that's what i'm focusing on i didn't know you have dairy so i've been noticing that um when i have too much cheese my my face gets bigger or whatever talk behind you can you just sit it back up? Oh, I don't want to get on that. Oh, it yeah, it cost. Can I just... Let me get it for you. Uh, Let me get it uh, for you. Oh, you wearing a uh, ginger today? Oh, why you ain't shave? Is it hairy? Oh. Is I'm on the camera? Oh. Hey, girl. So... While we were waiting in line for Cheesecake Factory, of course, we went into Barnes and Nobles and we found, well, I found three books and actually the Christian section was really small, but I was able to find my three books that I've been looking for by Joyce Meyer. Thank you, Jesus. And so y'all just enjoy this B-roll clip with beautiful music in the background because Barnes and Nobles was playing that copyrighted music extremely loud and 
we're not about to get this video copyrighted okay girl so just relax enjoy the bookstore enjoy the different new books and this book haul and if you see any books in this video that you like or you're reading as well comment down below in the video and subscribe to keep up with me just got back home um we left the cheesecake factory honestly it wasn't the best i mean i eat i i got the salmon let me sit y'all down real quick because i'm about to give y'all a real talk um i think that's good i just said that shine this way yeah I mean that's that's fine um I got salmon with um salmon with mashed potatoes and spinach my meal was it was pretty good I feel like I could have made it at home but um it was still great and I enjoyed my time with my mom for her birthday I don't know why but let's just talk about success for a minute and it's not that I don't find I hate talking about things that are negative in my life because I just want to look past it and like not talk about it but um I hate and it's not hate, but ever since, I don't know, like middle school, I have loved cameras. I have loved cameras. I have loved filming. I have loved, um, and I cannot wait to get my own place so I could talk loud. But, um, I have loved cameras. I've loved, like, filming and photography. I would have never thought that I would have a camera right now, um, you know, that I've spent my own money on. I would have never thought that. Um, and I thought originally when I was in middle school that I was going to go to a, 
I was gonna go to college to film music videos to follow my passion and then you know law also was my passion so I'm like okay let me just go with something more solid let me go with something like more like muse I mean more um like law based or whatever um but I've always loved filming and I have my camera and I'm like why not because YouTube can lead you to so many different pathways like who knows I get like a filming course or whatever and then I actually learn how to film music videos and I get the right connections or whatever just whatever but it's just like I have officially got over the fear of breaking my camera out in public and y'all don't understand how happy I am because it took me a long time because I cared about what people think and I let me just tell y'all 99% of the time I don't care what people think um, because I care what I think. I care what, how I feel and how it's going to make me feel. Um, so I love having a camera. I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful. And I'm so thankful that Jesus gave me this passion because it really is my passion. I've been editing videos since I was seven years old. You know, I didn't learn that from anybody. I didn't, I literally... I just got on a computer and I just knew everything like it was like a honestly like true gift and I get emotional about it because it's just like I understand like everybody doesn't want the camera in their face but it just comes off of like every time I bring my camera around it seems like I'm either being like stuck up or I'm being I'm either being like stuck up or and it or or I'm not even, let me just say, because my thoughts are all over the place, but I feel like when I say, when I express my dreams to people, they laugh at me. Um, they laugh, and I'm not going to say they, because I'm not going to say who they are, but they know who they are. People in my family, there's been multiple people, have laughed at my dreams, um, I'm not going to share my dreams on the internet because I know they're going to happen. And when they do, those people will not be in my life because, yeah, it's funny now because I'm 20. But the next two years, three years, four years, five years, it will happen. My dreams will come to true, will come true because that's how it's going to pan out because that's the life I set for myself because that's what I'm manifesting. That's the goals and prayers that I gave to Jesus Christ. No. Or even when it comes to law and history. I don't have to study like how most people have to study. I can literally look over what I need to do. Study for maybe an hour, two hours. And I know it. It's because it's a gift. It's 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 nothing I have to do. It doesn't take hard work for me to learn it. I'm going to prove them wrong. Whoever is laughing about my dream. They need to watch out because I'm coming for you. I said I was gonna get the camera. I got the camera. I said I was gonna get the. Um, I said I was gonna get the editing software and edit my videos like how all these other influencers do. I did it. That means that I have power in what I say. If I want something, I go get it. Prove them wrong. All I gotta say, if you have people in your family who are not supportive, just prove them wrong. And just know that. When you get to the top or wherever you want to be, you're going to get all those people coming back to you and saying they're sorry or they wish they could have da 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 whatever. But the time is up because you should have believed me in the first. And I don't people take it as a joke and it's not a joke to me. It's not. It's not any games to me. Like, it's really not. Whatever you want to do, if your friends don't support you, if your parents don't support you, just know you're not in it by yourself. I'm going through it. A lot of people are going through it. Prove them wrong. Prove them wrong. Grind harder. Hustle harder. Do whatever you got to do. Because what you don't want is in the next 15 years, 20 years, 10 years go by, 
and you regret not taking that risk early now take that risk let it pay off prove them wrong <laughs> prove them wrong that's all i gotta say do what you do prove them wrong okay and that's how i'm gonna end it i'm gonna um clean up my room give y'all that and probably eat the leftovers i got and go to bed take a shower and go to bed and go to the gym tomorrow because i don't have time for the next activity i'm about to read all my joyce myers book i think i don't know if i went over in the in the um in the bookstore or whatever with y'all but i'm gonna show y'all the books again because joyce myers is a, is amazing oh i'm sorry oh um i have conquered with having my oh my god i have i'm not gonna say i have demons but the devil gets in my head and i'm not gonna say that the devil i mean yeah <laughs> negative thoughts is the devil but negative thoughts get in my head which pressure me not to bring my camera out in public i was i have always been so scared to bring my camera out in public because when i do people stare at me and i feel like weird and ostracized like i don't know i don't want the people to stare at me so you know i should put my camera away or don't bring it out because people are watching me like forget them people i prayed and i'm gonna pray again to God for God to help me with that fear to give me that strength to not care about people and like my camera and me having it out because Jesus gave me this purpose for a reason let me go over the books that I have because I'm telling you if I'm like this with Joel Austin and T.D. Jakes and Sarah Jakes and listen to them listen look how I'm finna be when I have finna look how I'm about to be when I have my Joyce Meyer books let me show y'all because this is important the people and 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 this is the thing people don't have a problem with making a youtube channel they have a problem with starting because they're afraid a lot of people don't do stuff in life because they're afraid and you have to get over it um you have to get over it and the way i got over it was praying to jesus and and making sure i meditate on that making sure i tell jesus lord help me jesus jesus is with me at all time i go over the scripture i'm always with you um so this is the books. These are the books that I got from um, Barnes and Nobles. Let me lighten up the thing. That didn't help, but let's see. Perfect. Okay, so this one is the Power of Thank You. And actually, when you um, zoom in, these letters you can actually like feel them. Sorry, my nail came off. <laughs> Um, because it was like bending um but yeah you can actually feel this this is a great um cover i love that but i read it and it was like a great a grateful heart has more power than we can imagine and i was just looking through it um and it just says here thankfulness is god's will gratitude and contentment be thankful that roads have thorns be thankful and say so grateful for god wings and sometimes i do have a problem not problem but i do not give enough thanks to jesus because sometimes we can think like it's, it's just us like we think oh i did that no jesus gave you the power to do what you do so don't take the credit and i have a, sometimes i take the credit where the credit is not due to me it's due to jesus and so this book i mean her books are always amazing focus on the positive life a uh, life um life a test of faith um like that i doesn't answer complaints <laughs> that's amazing this next where did this come from i was on the book i should have got this book half off what is on this book anyways so i managed to get some of it off um but yeah so this is the book do it afraid look what it reads 
Fear is the devil's favorite weapon in the toolbox of the, of schemes he uses to destroy God's good plan for you. Amen. And then this one is called Battles Belong to God, to the to the Lord. And it says, have you ever felt you tried every solution to solve a problem but nothing worked? Have you ever wondered where the difficulties you face are coming from? Your battles belong to Jesus. I love that.